That's not Ember Sloan's getting shot. What are you talking about? Hello, everyone. Welcome back. We missed the, we missed the day because I didn't feel like it, but we're back. We're going to do it. Let's just go. Tuesday was, just, Tuesday was just a no bueno day. It was a no bueno day for all of us. <laughs> Nobody was having a good day. Yeah. Oh, look at that. First image. First picture, like, right there. It's Gina. Ah, off to a great start. Off just to a wide. wonderful start. From that moment, Windebank's pawnbroker became a crime scene. Everything that followed happened in a whirlwind of activity. Ding dong. <laughs> a body has been discovered. <laughs> After a certain amount of time, a time the class trial will yeah. begin. <laughs> uh, the arrival of the police, the preliminary investigation at the scene, and the questioning. It was just before dawn before I was allowed back to my lodgings at 221B. Oh. oh, Iris. Telegram came, but all it said was, wait at home. Oh, yes. We asked one of the policemen to have it sent. It was simply impossible to come back. I was all alone. Hurley and Ginny were gone. Everyone was gone. <laughs> what happened, Runo? Poor Iris, she's trembling. She's obviously trying very hard not to let herself get too worried. I'll explain everything that I know. Something awful has happened, hasn't it? Yes, I'm afraid so. Oh, Iris. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Iris, but Mr. Windebag is dead. He was shot. We discovered him in the early hours of the morning. Oh, y yes, I had a feeling. You did? You had a feeling? Well, I saw all those police carriages pulling up outside his shop. So I knew something must have happened there. When we entered Window Banks in the small hours, we, dis we were disturbed by a gang of two thugs. They ran out onto the street and I chased after them, but oh, they he's got lying. Away. So it was one of them who shot Mr. Windenbank, I suppose? I don't know, but that's not what the police be believe at the moment. Oh? Why not? They've arrested someone else as their prime suspect, you see. Gina. Any? But but why? Well, the thing is... No! Ginny wouldn't do something like that! I know, I know. None of us think that she did it. Then why have they arrested her? I'm Aww, sorry. Iris. There was nothing I could do. Well, let's just follow the, cr the chronological events. I don't understand why they arrested Ginny. It's not fair. What about the two thugs that were at the scene? Why aren't they the prime suspects? After all... They what? shot Hurley dead, didn't they? No! I, I, I mean, Mr. Shlomes isn't dead, Iris. This is all so horrible. The thing is, Mr. Winding Bag was found on the floor in the storeroom where he keeps all his deposited articles. And the storeroom door was locked from the inside. I see. But he wasn't alone in there. Gina was found next to him on the floor as well. Oh no! And according to the detectives who investigated afterwards... Don't tell me. There is no one else in the room. Ah, uh, of course. We're using the locked room. Of course, we're using the locked room trope again. Look at her eyes, baby girl. Yes, exactly. How did you know? It's the only explanation. Yes, the only explanation indeed. What do you mean by that, Runo? Well? Ugh, what can I say? I'm damned if I agree, damned if I don't.
So where's Hurley then? Is he still investigating the scene? He really ought to have some breakfast. It's not good for him to miss meals. I don't want you to worry, Iris, but I have some news about Mr. Shlomes. He, he was taken to the hospital this morning. What? Well, um, when we entered Windabag's gun was fired and he took a bullet. Early was, was shot? N no! No! It, it, it's alright. His life isn't in danger. Really? Are you sure? Where is he? Which hospital? He, he, he's at St. Sinner. St. Sinner. Wow, what a name for St. Sinner's. Oh, of course. That's a good name for a hospital. He's at St. Sinner's. They're tending to him there. I must see him at once. I'm sorry, Iris, but you can't. Why not? It's not fair. I'm a family member. I should be allowed. No, I mean, nobody can see him at the moment. He's not allowed any visitors. They're preparing to operate, you see. To... To operate? Oh, oh, oh. baby. Oh, poor Hurley. Ah, cool. Okay, we're gonna continue doing that. It was two thug... It was the two thugs who were... Who were within Mr. Windebag's shop. They shot Mr. Shlomes when he disturbed them, you see. It was pitch black inside the shop at the time. My mind went totally blank, I'm afraid. I I just froze. After that, I ran out into the street, but... Oh, they were long gone. I, I shouldn't have hesitated. I'm so sorry. It's my fault. I let them get away. That's a very good thing. Sorry? Well, if you'd seen which way they'd went and chased after them, you might have been shot as well, Runo. No. On top of everything else, I, I couldn't bear that. Oh, Iris. She's so adorable. God, I love her. Where's Susie, Runo? She's still at the police station. Oh! Why? I expect she's still being questioned. The police said they wouldn't be finished for a while. Why aren't you there then? Well, I didn't get a good look at the criminals anyway, so they weren't question questioning me for long. And Mrs. Sata stayed behind at the scene to tend to Mr. Shlom, so they didn't get started until later. Ah, uh, I see. Besides, one of us had to come back with to be with Iris. I'm glad Inspector Gregson agreed to leaving to me leaving early. You should have let me know and I would have come to the station. Oh baby girl. I'm afraid I'll need to go out again, Hi Iris. There's not much I can do at the moment. But I can at least try to find out how Mr. Shulms and Jean are getting on. I want to go too. Take me with you, Iruno. I can't stand just sitting around here waiting. I'm not sure how I feel about taking a 10 year old child to the scene of a murder, but I don't want to leave her all alone here either. All right then, Aris, perhaps you can help me? Yes, I'd love to. Okay, good. I was worried for a second I was gonna play her for you. Like, that's not really a good thing to be playing right now. Okay. <clears throat> Gina is at the prison. Mr. Sholmes is probably in his hospital bed. And don't forget, we have to visit the crime scene. We need to just conduct a thorough investigation. <laughs> oh, her goggles are so adorable on her. <laughs> She's oh, so, it's so adorable. Bob. Ah, I can see you're ready for action. I imagine Iris would appreciate going to the hospital sooner rather than later. location as was uh, oh hey she's she's uh, <laughs> oh so she have to say i love attic rooms don't you they're so exciting <laughs> <laughs> it's always a bit quiet when hurley's not around this place feels different normal for some reason you know i think it'd be good 
I, I think a visit to this place would be a good idea. If you haven't been to this place, so don't forget to take me with you. Aww. She's so cute. Precious Bab. Precious Bab. Oh, so this is all. I have a oh, feeling right. I'm going to be doing a lot of talking this episode. Me? Really? No, me. Oh, yeah, you probably are. Mm. Oh! He's not here! No, that's strange. There's definitely said he was in the bed by the window, didn't she? Of course he isn't. Herlock? No. <laughs> I don't know what's in. probably happened. Haley was being a big baby, and the bullet wound wasn't that bad after all, so he's been sent home. Hmm, I'm not so sure about that theory. Baby or not. There's no question that it was a fairly serious injury that Mr. Sloan suffered. Hmm. Kyle, since you haven't talked yet. Hello, hello. What have we here? <sighs> this ward is off limits. No visiting. So, what are you doing in here, eh? Well, I, I'll have you know, we're Hurley's next of kin. Eh? Oh! Well, beg the pardon, ma'am, sir. A little lady and a curious Eastern gentleman. The great mystery solver has a mysterious family, eh? That's how you see us? Um, sure. Is he a constable? Where's Hurley? I believe he's currently in the operating theater, ma'am. I've begun an extensive operation. Extensive? It has been several hours since he went in. Ooh. Oh dear. I is he gonna be all right? Well, he what? doesn't appear to be working, you see. The anesthetic, that is. <laughs> oh my god. I have heard a report that the gentleman claims he may have had a little too much to drink last night. Coffee, that is. Also, what am I seeing pop- People aren't seeing this on stream, but you guys are seeing this, right? Popping up in the steam going off in the background. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. I just want to. I just want to point that out. Ah. Uh... Anyway, I think we'd be fair to assume that he won't be back in like several hours yet. I see. Thank you, Constable. Perhaps we should leave and come back later. Oh, Cammy died there for a second. <laughs> laughing so hard. This man is fighting the anesthetic. <laughs> he Why? thinks he was drunk or some coffee. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm just like, wait, he might have drank too much on coffee. <laughs> oh, uh, let's, let's, rewind, let's rewind the tape for a second. Um, well, it's been working. I I heard it was a poor uh, gentleman's claim that he may have had too much a drink last night. Coffee, that is. Oh my God, <laughs> Herlock, no! <laughs> <laughs> what a right. dumb dove. All right, where are we going? Where are we going next? We're going to prison. Prison. Kyle, you get it. Kyle, you get to take a break for a bit. Oh fuck! No, I gotta hop in here. <sighs> Oh, baby girl. Hello, Gina. How is she still allowed to have that in prison? I know, right? Oh, you still have the grenade launcher Hurley and I made? I wish she wouldn't point that at me all the time, though. Also, how is she legally allowed to have that in her cell? That's what I was just asking. <laughs> Ace Attorney logic, just go with it. Yeah. What are you here for? Me? I have a feeling it's because that it's because of, because of us that you ended up in trouble. So we were thinking we might be able to help you. Huh? Well, you can't. Sorry? You heard. 
get lost. Don't be like that, Ginny. I know you didn't do it. You'd never shoot someone. I just know you wouldn't. You think you know me? Pull the other one. Uh oh. You ain't got the first idea about the likes of me. I'm a thief. I pinch people's purses when they're walking down the street. That's how I'll get by. Once again, uh, how are you allowed to smuggle these things into prison? And if I saw me chance, I'd sneak into a pawn shop any day of the week. Oh, that's not good for- that's not for a good defense. Just to see what I can lay me hands on. Get it? That's the kind of person I am. But- but- Ginny? I'll be in court tomorrow, they said. Some cove came by before and said he'd be a lawyer for me or the like. Said it was my right or something. But I told him to get stuff. I don't need no lawyer. I don't need no one. She didn't be staring at me or uh, more obviously if she tried. Why are you being like this, Ginny? That's a good question. Let's go and ask what happened. Uh, I don't understand, you know. Why did you send the public defender away? You want me to sign some papers? Representation papers or something like that. <laughs> What's a weird word there, Gina? Respiration. Re okay. Uh, it's gonna be all rigged anyway. The whole trial. They'll pin it on me because I'm a kid. That's what grown ups always do. Do you think that? Because that's how it's always been for me growing up in the back slums. My whole life. If you do what the grown ups tell ya, I'll get your mates dragged off by the coppers. Or worse. I've, ha I've, I've had it happen to me before and all. Been sold out and nearly snaffled on the back, on the back of it. You can't trust no one. That's the point. And if you do, you're gone to grass. Dead. Gina, listen. If you'd like, in tomorrow's trial, I could... Forget it. Ginny! Don't you trust Runo? Nah. I don't. Look, I'll ask you nicely now. Just leave me alone. Will you tell us what happened, Gina? Last night at the pawnbrokers. There's nothing to tell. I figured they'd pay me, so I broke into the place and started going through the storeroom. But the old bloke walked in on me, and you know the rest. Magatama activates. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> but why, Ginny? Why would you do that? Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Ooh, oh my, oh god. my god! Stop fucking lying! Ain't it obvious? The place is full of stuff I could sell for a shilling or two. Diving ain't easy, you know. It's a lot of work, and half the time, you don't even get nothing. Is that really why you broke into the place? What? Are you sure the true reason wasn't something else? Give it a rest! What would be the point of any new- of it- Anyway, nothing I said would make a blind bit of difference. He 
Please tell us, Ginny. We'll believe you, whatever it is. Believe me? Don't be daft. You can't believe nothing. Everyone lies all the time. And you know what? When it comes to lies, I'm the biggest of a lot. I've... I've told some unforgivable lies I have. What do you mean by that? What unforgivable lies? Alright, well, it seems... Oh, okay. I need more. What did you mean before, Gina, when you said you were the biggest liar of the lot? Why don't you tell us these un unforgivable lies you've, t you've told her? Maybe we can help. Sorry. Um, they're gonna want to question me now. Please. Oh, yeah. I wanted to give you this. Something to remember me by. Oh, it's a kitty! A photographic print of a real ador really adorable cat. Ah. No, man. Don't live in one of the pockets of this coat. Ain't no point in me having it. Wonder what a little photograph like that was doing in a pocket of that overcoat. Anyway, don't bother coming again. Bye. Oh, Ginny. Well, oh, that's what we can do about that. Ah, I want to take a look at the kitty. Oh. This is an adorable little cat. I think it looks a little like Wagahai. I always thought that cats like to curl up inside under the heat of Kotatsu blanket when it snowed. Maybe British cats are different. They're a what different the? breed. Look on the back of this print here. There's something written on it. 13th February, 9 p.m. Article deposited one small box. Loan amount paid 10 shillings. Redemption deadline 13th of April at 9 p.m. So this photographic print is a redemption ticket. 13th February? That could be significant. It was just two days before the murder on the omnibus, wasn't it? A small box. That doesn't tell us much about it, does it? I don't know, if Mr. McGill did still had the ticket, then he presumably had no he never redeemed the article. So do you think the box might still be present somewhere in the shop? Ah, yes! If that's if it's something Mr. McGill McGill did deposit, we need to investigate. Kind of a weird, um... I have a feeling me and Kyle will not be doing a lot of talking in this <laughs> It's All right, just let's... me! You know what? Considering how much I didn't have to show up last time, it's actually... <laughs> Kyle, yeah. can take, Kyle can take a break for a bit. Perfectly balanced, as I think it should be. Yeah, I mean, so... with the dance of deduction, it kind of was a lot. Oh, there's a lot of police officers here. Well, Kyle, Kyle and uh, Cameron can uh, do, take over some police officers if we talk to them. Just, you yeah. know, so they have something to do. Where it happened then? Last night? That's right. The two thugs I told you about were obviously ransacking the place looking for valuables. But... Apart from the policemen in here, you wouldn't know anything had happened, so there's no sign of a disturbance. No, I'm right about that, actually. In fact, if anyone, it's the police who seem to be doing the ransacking. 
I know what you mean. They're like a gang of organized criminals all dressed in black. That. Ah! It's Gregson! I'll take him over, Cammy, since you're doing a lot of speaking with Iris. Yay! <laughs> oh, Inspector! Um, good morning. I suppose I have to thank you for your diligence last night. We got to the scene before it was disturbed, at least. You let the two rogues get away, mind. Yes, I'm sorry about that. I thought you'd assign extra men to the beat around here, Gregsy. Now look what's happened. Hurley's been injured because there weren't enough police on duty. Ah. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Your ladyship! No one told me you were coming! Ah, oh, great! So Iris is my- is my inter- is my magical ticket <laughs> to Gregson. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> I expect you to take full responsibility for what happened to Hurley and see he has the very best medical care. Of course, your ladyship. The best doctors in the capital are attending to him as we speak. I don't think it's Runo's fault that the rogues managed to get away. Is is it? Chasing criminals is the police's jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely, your ladyship. As you say, ma'am. As you say. Oh my god, Gregson! <laughs> the gentleman black is totally blameless. Everyone's in agreement about that. Oh I, can't, god, I can't, I can't, <coughs> S word. <laughs> can't say, can't say that word on stream, but, yeah. It's, it's a banned word. It's okay, I can just, I think I can just can censor I, it out. Can I, like, spell it out? Can I, like, spell it out? Does it count if you spell it up because you're not technically saying it? Would you believe it? He's like a completely different person with Iris. Talk about a personality change. Oh, where are me, my manners? Are you thirsty, your ladyship? Perhaps you'd like some juice? Some nice refreshing fruit juice? Oh my god! <laughs> are you thirsty, Gracie? <laughs> oh my god, Iris. Heal him. <laughs> um, <laughs> said uh, something and then process what you said afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> oh it. my god. Iris just. I know, right? This is hilarious. Oh my god. Yeah. I have some of my special herbal tea with me if you'd like some. Whoa! 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 Calm down! Ah, lovely. So very much. That really hit the spot, your ladyship. I don't even recognize him like this. And it's not a man anymore. <laughs> <laughs> really? Alright, right, right. you know, I gotta I just gotta start with this. Um, I couldn't help but notice an inspector. What? Out with it, sunshine. Well, there seems to be a marked difference between the way you talk to me and Iris. Watch the sauce, Sonny. I'm a copper and we don't <laughs> go in for favoritism. But he's right! You do treat us differently! It's because of those adventures of Herlock Shane's stories, that's why. Oh. I prop up in them, don't I? Inspector Tobias Gregson. 
Oh, well, yes, because you're an acquaintance of Hurley's. What did you write about the inspector, Iris? Hmm? Oh, I don't remember, really. It is one of Sholmes' lines. Gregson is the smartest of the Scotland Yarders, is how he put it. Um, Sher Sherlock, I question your, um, definition of smart, but... Yes. I mean, in I Scotland mean... Yard, though, within context, though, Cam. Yeah. Yeah. Also, you have to consider Sholmes' own intelligence on the matter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we, we, have to, we have to remember that, too. Oh, did I write that? Did oh. you know what the one line did for me, eh? The very next month, my pay doubled. Doubled, I tell you. Oh, that's amazing. All because everyone at the yard reads them. They read all the Herlock Sholmes stories. I even set up a fan club for me. <laughs> of course, that explains everything. It was around that time you became such a toady to me. Can you blame me? All it takes is one bad word from you, and Sholmes can change his entire tune about me. Gregson, no, the great detective will say. He's getting quite overrated these days. <laughs> what would happen to my salary if that came out of print? Oh, whole thing is the willies. I can't tell you how many nights I've slept I've lost to worrying about it all. But that would never happen, Gregson. Every month when the new Rants magazine comes out, my hands are trembling as I turn the pages. One sec. Oh, she's muted. <coughs> oh my. <laughs> Your inner demons are coming out. Oh no, Cammy, you better come back quick. The demons yeah. will come out. The inner demons are coming out. Not the demons. Not the demon iris. Anything but the demon iris. Anything incorrect. <clears throat> oh, how awful for you. Oh, how awful for you. Here, have some of my tea to settle your nerves. I will be back one day and I will appear. You'll forget and I will appear. No. <laughs> so very much that really hit the spot, your ladyship. T total. <laughs> Puts the teacup down, immediately brings up <laughs> fish and chips. <laughs> God, this man. <clears throat> oh, Gregson. You're amazing. His pocket is just an ultra dimension full of food. Yeah. God, I wish. If I could just pull I snack out of a, the fucking abyss, that'd, 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 that'd be amazing. That would that'd be, be low-key phenomenal. You know how many parties yeah. that I could just instantly stock? I could just be like, I want to have a party today, and I could just like reach into my pocket dimension and pull out, like, infinite bags of chips and all that crap. That'd be the oh, best yes. for Hey, what's, what's with your pockets? Hey, what's up with your pocket? It's bigger on the inside. <laughs> you could low-key just, like, Mary Poppins. <laughs> that that you can Mary Poppins that shit. You never have to worry about food cravings ever again, because you can just no, instantly satisfy it. <laughs> Right. It'd be so great. You could end be the world best hunger. Exactly. You, would end, you could end world hunger with that. You'd be hailed a hero, and you'd have snacks. What's better? I know, right? Like, it'd be it's the best superpower, man. <laughs> oh, sorry. Anyway. Uh, 
Can, can you tell us anything about Mr. Shums? What's his condition? Sorry, I'm not at liberty to divulge that information. Scotland Yard matters are strictly confidential. Well, I know he's being operated on at state centers. Why can't I see him? I'm family, you know. I'm... I'm terribly sorry, your ladyship. It's, it's the hospital's policy. No visiting at all. Oh. Uh, the bullet must have hit an artery in his midriff. He's lost a fair bit of blood. Oh no. He didn't seem too bad in the first hour or so. But a hemorrhage like that is enough to make you, even the one and only Sholmes pipe down. Mr. Sholmes is a human like the rest of us, you know. Well, anyway, he's having an emergency surgery right now. <clears throat> They've gotta stop that bleeding. But... He will be alright, won't he? They'll be able to make him better? Oh, of course, your ladyship. He'll be right as rain before you know it. Really? How do you know? <laughs> <laughs> How do I know? Well, um, uh, because of... Yes. Yes, because Mr. Sholmes is such a great detective, that's why. <clears throat> You better pray that the doctors have a better grasp of what's needed to make someone well again. Oh dear. Please don't die, Hurley. I'll report to your ladyship the moment I hear it's out of the operating theater. Oh, he did pull out his magical pocket. Oh, never mind. It's there. Oh, there it is. There. I was like, oh, where is this magical Here's pocket of... Too soon, too soon. So, how's the investigation going, Inspector? Nothing to it, really. Very simple, this. There's some very definitive evidence. We're just about to charge that... ...diver we arrested last night, in fact. Jaina? You're going to charge her? That's right. We should be able to bring her... Up before the judge on Bailey tomorrow. Definitive evidence, you say? What is it? Come on, show me. Her little goggles. Your ladyship, as much as I wish they could oblige you, I'm afraid. I see. You've already captured the pair of thugs who broke in here last night, have you? What the? And you're going to put them on the stand as witnesses, are you? Uh, how could you? How? How could you possibly know that? I have a feeling. That's all. <laughs> Remind me to never try to keep a secret from Ice. So you've arrested the two men who shot Mr. Sholmes, have you? Well, yes. They were rounded up pretty quickly by the lads on the beat. And Miss Lestrade is being held at the prison? We should be. That's assuming she hasn't lifted the key from the, from the jailer, of course. Oh, yeah. There's something I was supposed to talk to you about, actually, Mr. Narahodo. Yes? What is it? message from you. I clean forgot about it until now. An important message? I wonder what it could be. Are you going to tell me what the important message is, then, Inspector? Yeah. It's about that young lady who's normally by your side. Your assistant. 
Sister Susie, is she all right? She's at the station, isn't she? Being questioned, I believe. Nope. No. Not anymore. She had to head off. Head off? Where? Lord Strongheart's office, of course. He summoned her. Ah. Yes, of course. I forgot about that. One of the Woodstocks took her there in a yard carriage after we finished questioning her. But she asked us to tell you that she didn't have the fare for the return journey and to go meet her there. Live, using Scotland Yard as a blooming messaging service. I see. Well, thank you for passing that on, Inspector. Why did Susie have to go see the Lord Chief Justice? She didn't tell me, but I'd better head over to the Lord Chief Justice's office to, to fetch her straight away. All right, I guess we're not investigating stuff. Oh, we're going back here again. Kyle! He got to speak if he's speaking hey. again. Time to see this guy in a while. Yes. No matter how many times I come here, I always get the same sense of oppressiveness somehow. Yeah, I haven't seen this guy in a while. You think this place is oppressive? I think it's normal. How so? I mean... Look at that suit of armor over there. You can't take that seriously, can you? Maybe he thinks the same about you. Kyle. Oh. Is this Kyle or is this Suzato? This is Kyle, I think. Yeah, I love this guy. Yeah. So everything's. Oh. Ah, uh, he wants to go and take it out. Okay, sure. There you go. Oh, there you are. Suzato san and Lord Strongheart. I wonder what they're talking about. They both look very serious. Very good. There is nothing further to discuss. You may return to your lodgings. No doubt you have much to do in preparation for your return to your homeland. Wait, what did you just say? Your return. No. Susato-san. Susato, no. Oh, girls and doors. Mister Naruto. What? What was that about? Ah, uh, Mr. Naruhodo. Thank you for coming to collect your colleague. What's this all about? Why are you talking about Mrs. Sato's return to her homeland? And, and... Tomorrow? Tomorrow? But, what about Ginny's trial? You mean... She's been formally charged now? Oh dear. Bye! <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's like, and we are leaving! Mm. Yep. Just no, no, not um, Nina has been charged. She'll have to appear, appear in court. Yes, she was formally charged a few hours ago, and the day of the trial has already been set for tomorrow. No. Not even 24 hours later? Gina. Ah, the Lestrade girl and the murder of the Baker Street pawnbroker, yes. An all too transpicuous. What? Transpicuous? Transpicuous, yeah. yeah. Transpicuous case. The pickpocket was clearly disturbed mid-robbery and shocked the man in a panic. 
No, the yard is overstretched as it is, without wasting time on these open and shut cases. Not wasting time! Ginny would never do something like that! Mr. Narukodo. Oh, um, y yes, Sir Lord Strongheart? In deference of your fine services to date, I shall overlook this young girl's insolence. But I have no recollection of admitting a child into my office. <laughs> leave. Now. Ouch! Ouchie. No mercy. Of course, Lord Strongheart. Criminals will tell the most palpable lies in order to evade justice. The police can ill afford the time it takes to unravel all their untruths. Meanwhile, more crimes are perpetrated. We have far more serious matters with which to contend. Serious matters? Didn't Gregson mention something like that yesterday? Yes. Inspector Gregson made a similar remark yesterday. It's no concern of yours, though I'm sure I need not remind you of that. Mr. Sato, what's this all about? Oh, please don't concern yourself with Mr. Naruto. It's only me going back to Japan. Your life here can continue just as it has. That's not what I ask! Our stream is a little slow, by the way. Is it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, is it slow on your end a bit? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Drop the frame rate. Lower the resolution. Sorry, it's going to look like crap now for you guys. Not for everyone Yay, who's watching. Yay, it's crunchy. Hey. All right, anyway. What happened? Why are you leaving? My father, he's fallen ill. Oh no! Professor Mikotova? <laughs> yeah, Cami, you missed it, but in the first trial of this game... Ryanosuke got himself into trouble, and then the second trial of this game, he got himself into trouble. <laughs> yeah, that seems to be a theme. Yeah, he got flamed for murder twice. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I had yeah. a nickel. If Ryanosuke and Narahoto had a nickel for every time he's been framed for murder, he'd had <laughs> two nickels. Which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. <laughs> Very I mean, much. we can't. I mean, let, let's let. Okay, let's not start. Let's not, let's start with my FA. Okay, if for if for every nickel she's had, if for every nickel she's had happen, she'd have like quite a lot she of nickels. Have, like, she 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 would have like six. a lot of nickels. She would have like yeah. six nickels. Yeah. Anyway, quite was, a lot of nickels. She, 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 she was like, accused of her right sister's now. murder. She was accused of someone else's murder. Um, was it? What else was? Okay, 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 okay. Sisters, sisters, murder. Um, murder of uh, Doctor Gray. Mhm. Mm I don't think she was. I don't think she was on trial in the third K in the third game at all. I don't think she was. I think it's only three times because then she doesn't reappear until Spirit of Justice, where she's put on trial for the murder of uh, of Dr. Uh, Gray. Yeah, um, Dr. Gray, and then after that, I don't think she was on trial until until Spirit of Justice. I think she was. Yeah, she wasn't put on trial in the third game. I don't think. I'm pretty sure she wasn't last game. Yeah, so I think it's just I three suppose, times. I suppose technically there was the Dahlia Hawthorne case too. But she doesn't technically on trial. That was Dahlia she, Hawthorne. 
herself. Yeah, but that. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, we're getting into spoil. We're getting into spoiler territory here. Okay. I'm. I'm just thinking. And then, oh yeah, in um. Spirit of Justice, she was accused of a double murder, wasn't she? No. Oh. She I thought it was a double murder for sure. I don't remember if it was double. I, I was don't think it was. I don't think it was double. I think it was just single. Hmm. Yeah, it was single murder, which but anyway, later she's turned had out a lot. And Phoenix yeah. has had a couple too. Phoenix has also been accused of murder a couple times too. Yeah. Ooh, Although so I don't know how many times they hard. stick. Yeah. But Phoenix is Phoenix. Let's let's not question that. Yeah, that's true. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, oh, okay. uh, that's you. We received an international telegram from the Empire of Japan informing us of the news. Days ago, father collapsed with a fever. The cause is apparently unknown, and it seems to grow weaker day by day. I, I don't believe it. As you are aware. The voyage from here to your country's capital, Tokyo, takes some 50 days. I thought it would be prudent to hasten Mr. Sato's departure as much as possible. Yes, absolutely. I will leave London first thing tomorrow morning. I can't believe this is happening. Three minutes precisely until my next meeting. You must excuse me. There's just one more thing wrong with Lord Strongheart. Which is? It's Miss Lestrade's trial. I wonder if he might permit me to defend her. A timely suggestion. Sorry? The girl currently has no representation. But that's not fair. Yes, she may be a pickpocket, but she still deserves a fair trial. Do not misunderstand me, young lady. The government provides for those too poor to afford representation with a public defender. The accused need only sign the relevant paperwork, and a defense barrister will be assigned to the case. However, the young girl in question has refused that right. Why would she do that? A question you would do well to direct at Miss Lestrade. You'll find her at the local prison. Yes, thank you. Now then, it's time I was leaving. Good day to you. <sighs> what a day. Gina charged with murder, so is that the son about to leave? Um, Mr. Naruhoto. Iris, we m we must make haste. But, uh, Susie? You're leaving for Japan tomorrow morning, aren't you? Don't you have packing and things to do? As Mr. Naruhoto's judicial assistant, my personal circumstances are of no consequence. My sole purpose remains to help you, in whatever way I can. Thank you, Mrs. Sato. That's a very pensive look. I think we ought to visit Gina first. In any case, I should like to wish her well before I leave. Mrs. Sato, she's Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Let's go. If I'm honest, this has completely thrown me off. I'll just have to do what I can. As a lawyer. What a queen. Oh, Iris baby. Or Iris and Susato babies. Man, Kyle is just having a nice day off, isn't he? <laughs> For once. My girl Gina! I love her. I love her so much. Ah! Hello again, Gina. 
If I could interrupt this animation, I would have just said, Excuse me. What are you lot here for now? To have the muzzle of that grenade launcher shoved up your faces yet again, obviously. It's not what it looks like, sir. Hmm. I think I need to improve the way you load ammunition into that thing, don't I? I don't think you should. Look. You can come as many times as you like, but I ain't got nothing more to say to you. Gina. Oh, cool. You're talking to yourself. Nice. Yay! I wonder if you might hear me out. There's something I'd like to say. What? I'm sorry to say that I must reluctantly bid you farewell. Huh? Farewell? Tomorrow, I must begin my journey back home. To Japan. I fear we may never meet again. Oh. Right. I've had the pleasure of so many lovely people here in London. I have so many wonderful memories. And yet, as things stand now, it will be a glum parting indeed. Poor Iris is so miserable. It's so sad. That ain't my business. Both Iris and Mr. Nohoto believe you to be innocent, Gina. They've put their faith in you. But somehow, you can't find it in your heart to put your faith in them. Yeah, that's right, I can't! What of it? It grieves me greatly to have to say goodbye to my friends when they are so clearly unhappy. Because of you. <laughs> what? Uh, what? It's uh, my fault? Yes, but I have one final request, Gina, before our paths never cross again. Right here and now. I want you to show both of them that you don't deserve the faith they've invested in you. Huh? Only by doing that. Will you truly be as alone as you claim to be? Oh shit, no. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? What'd you expect me to do, eh? You told us that everyone lies. So prove it. By admitting one of your own untruths. Ah, I see. What about what you said before, Ginny? You said something about unforgivable lies? You must tell Mr. Narahoto and Iris the truth now. But that is my last request before I leave. My last request as a judicial assistant. No, I... Uh, I can't. Whatever these lies are, they're obviously weighing very heavily in Gina's mind. Gina, I could be wrong, but is it something to do with what happened two months ago? Something about that trial? Oh, no, not this man! <laughs> the one in which Gilded. Magnus McGilded was acquitted. Uh... The case that, my that mysterious murder that took place inside the omnibus? You were called as a witness by the prosecution. Is that what this is about? Yeah. You're right. Because in that trial... I lied. I lied like you wouldn't believe. Will you tell us about it now? Ooh, we get to finally figure out. Like you said, it all happened two months ago. The cop who got hold of me 
And the shove me in the witness stand. And based and... on your testimony, Mr. McGilda was declared innocent. Mm. Yeah, well, the thing is, I lied about a whole bunch of stuff. I knew it. What sort of thing did you lie about? I was... I was... Uh, I didn't under the seat that night. That was the truth. It was pitch black in that little cubby hole. I couldn't see a thing. And then... I... I earth out loud thud, like someone falling on the floor. And that's when Mr. McGill discovered you? Yeah. He pulled me out from under the seat and sat me next to the dead man. There weren't much light to see by, but whoa, when I looked at me hands, I, I had the cub's blood all over him. I was so scared. I couldn't even speak. You had his blood in your in your own hands? In other words, it was Gina that the witnesses on the roof text saw through the skylight. Then, then Mr. McGilded started asking you questions, I suppose. Who you were and why you were hiding under the seat. Yeah. He did, only that's not all. What do you mean? I mean, he threatened me. Threatened you how? He made me swear about what I've seen and what I heard. And about what he, what he was going to do after the cub was found dead. He made me swear I wouldn't tell anyone about any of it. If I did that, he said he'd let me scarf her up before the copper showed up. Gina, you must tell me what he swore you to secrecy about. What you saw, what you heard, everything. Oh my god. Ah, so much stuff! Some heavy stuff is being revealed, though. <sighs> Alright, you you said Mr. McGillard to make you swear not to tell anybody what you saw. But you were in the pitch pack compartment under the seat the whole time, weren't you? Yes, with Mr. McGillard sitting above your head, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that's true, but... It was when I heard the thought of the cuff... It, it, the cuff... It, it in the floor. I loud a, a little scream, see? Couldn't help it. M McGillard heard that and dragged me out um, by me arm. And that's when I saw it. It was on the floor next to the old geezer. What has been stabbed? Uh, a disc. Yeah, it's what? It was on the floor next to the old geezer. What had been stabbed? A disc. All bright and shiny. A disc? Do you mean... Mm, yeah. That's it. The one what the detail took off me at the bleh. The one the D took off me at took off me at the window banks. <laughs> Gina, English. Gina, your oh. words. English. Uh, yeah, that's it. The one with the D. The one what the D took me off at window bags. Oh god, it's even, even hard to say for myself. It's 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 hard. It's a good thing I have Herniske <laughs> to speak regular English. <clears throat> so, the music box, box disc was there on the floor of the Omnibus? Not so long. Mm, Gilt had spotted it straight away. He picked it up smartish and stuffed it in his pocket. So that disc was in the Omnibus two months ago at the scene of Mr. Mason's murder. And the bog trotter told me... I weren't to mutter a word of it to no one. 
Okay, that's what you saw. What did you hear? Because we said Doc under that seat in the cab, restraining me ears the whole time. After a while, I heard the door and footsteps inside the cabin. Presumably, that was Ms. that was McGill getting on board. Nah, not only him. Oh. Because I could definitely make out the footsteps of two people. Okay, so it seemed likely that it was Mr. McGilded and the victim. Mr. Thrice fired Mason. In his testimony during the trial, Mr. McGilded claimed he slept during the carriage ride. Your own testimony, Gina, supported his. Yeah, that weren't exactly true. Neither of them was asleep. I could hear them talking the whole time in low voices. What? What, what are they talking about? Sorry, I don't know. There's a sound of the, there's a sound of the, oh, 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 the horses and the and the wheels was too loud. <laughs> English is hard. English is hard. That's it's not even yeah. English. It's not even English. The sound of the horses. The horses, eh? The sound of oh, the, the horses the, and the, the, the wheels was too loud. The sound of the horses and the wheels was too loud. The sound of the horses. The sound of the horses on the wheels was too loud. It was too loud. Oh, sorry, I accidentally skipped that. But that still tells us something. Mr. McGilded and the victim knew each other. So Mr. McGilded was lying, as we suspected. Okay, what happened after? Uh. <sighs> I knew it w weren't going to take long before someone raised the, the alarm th that the bloke had been killed. Yes, you were quite right. Right, the other passengers on the roof deck noticed very quickly. So when the cab came to a stop, Mr. McGilda told me to hide back under the seat again. I climbed in and waited. The two cubs from up top ran up, ran off to get the coppers. Yes, um, Mr. Fairplay and Mr. First. Wait, and after they'd gone, McGill did ask the driver to do him a favor. A favor? Oh, since this is new dialect, Kyle, can you want to oh. bring back McGill did? Bring back McGill did. <laughs> this is new dialogue. We might as well. Oh fuck! I guess he needs to do this. He's Irish. Irish. Take this cold man. Pulls him with a nearby pawnbroker. I love it. The point of problems. Let's see now. I I give the ten guineas. Oh, I had nothing else to say. <laughs> ah, damn it! Uh, uh, I'm, near... just, I'm disappointed. Oh, it's okay. It's still interesting dialogue. A, a well, nearby pawnbroker. A nearby pawnbroker. You mean on Baker Street? Giving him ten guineas. Isn't uh, that? If you think about it. Ah, uh, I see. Yep. You got it. It was. It was one of the banks. The coachy snapped up the money and ran off to pop this coat as fast as he could. So then, there was no one left in the carriage. McGilded it opened the box under the seat. And let me get out of there. But not without conditions. I see. What were Ms. McGilded's conditions then? For letting you go free, I mean. Not telling a soul, not for anything, but what I saw and what I heard. And 
there was something else as well. There's more? Mm. Yeah. This is the most important thing, he said. Oh. <laughs> what percent of the court can I do ground for me? Some small change in his hand. Now then, if you hear what I asked of him, you can see anything tall. Tall. You asked him to go pop your weasel, right? Aye. The game's taking your overcoat to pose it with a palm block of here, lads. No one's you, lads. It's like the redemption ticket for it. You understand? What? You want me to have the ticket? That's right. I'll come fetch it from you later. Sometime within the next two months. You have to hang on to it till then. Is that clear? And whatever you do, don't lose it. Oh, Alright then. On the case I might have to be delayed at all. You have to go to the pawn shop. Bring the bank so please. You have to extend the loan for the two months up. You have to forget. The art could be forfeited. Now your old thing could come along and buy it. Yeah? But... But... I ain't got that kind of brass. There's five pounds. It should be enough. I feel we understand each other, lass. Don't try anything funny now. You'll go against me. Yeah... I get it. Oh, one more thing. A few days from now, you'll be visited by the police, I've no doubt. The coppers? Aye, I'll come ask me to take the stand at court. They just identify as, as a witness. So let's just have a wee chat about that, shall we? What it is that you might say. What it is that you want. That's not me, that's the game. I'm not saying anything. So. I think they were talking in the background about that. After you've gone over it all, I piked it and got as far away from there as I could. I eat. I eat. I eat. I eat the prom broker's ticket and some bushes near the sea. I eat the. the it's. I think it's I because it's. No, it's e. e. Like no, it's e no. as E. Yeah, I know, but prom but it sounds broker. like. Prom broker's e. ticket and some bushes near the sea. E. Yeah, I I, 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 I eat. Like I eat. Like head, but it's. Yeah. E -ed. I eat. Okay. The prom broker's ticket and some bushes near the sea. <laughs> I, I went to. F I went to. F Fetch it the next day, once it got dark. So Mr. McGilda, McGilda planned it, and co co coerced, coerced Gina to give him false testimony. So that's the true story behind it. McGilda was a a-hole. I bet you're ready to, str to string me up, eh? I lied in that big old courtroom. I told some corkers. The thing is, he said you would make it so we couldn't live in the East End no more. That's what he threatened me with. Eris. What a wicked man. He knew everything what went on in the back slums. He knew we had no one to look after us, and we were all just looking out for each other, getting by together. So you mean Mr. McGilded would have... In an offbeat, he could have had the lot of us chased out of there if he'd wanted. And then where could we have gone, eh? Nowhere, that's where. So, I didn't have no choice. Thank you, Gina, for telling us everything. 
about it. I'm for it now, eh? Go on, admit it. You must be livid. Well, you can make amends by doing me one simple, a simple favor. What? Sign the representation papers for tomorrow's trial. If you don't actually want me to represent you in court, you can rip it up later. But we need that paperwork or we can't investigate. The police won't let us. Investigate what? The scene of the incident last night. Mr. Sloan's was sought, you see. You what? He's having a big operation right now, Ginny. Is it bad? Is... Is he gonna be alright? Jones is gonna be alright. Right? Oh, the phone! <laughs> That's why I want to investigate. For Mr. Sloan's sake, as much as anything. Right. So, what you're saying is... If I sign that bit old paper, everyone's happy. Is that it? Something like that. Mrs. Otto? Yes, of course. I have the representation papers here. I... I don't need no, no one to stick up for me, though. No lawyer or nothing. Jenny, she seems so lonely. Well, at least this should mean we can investigate the scene at Wyndham Banks now. Yes, and perhaps we can come back and to visit Ginny when we're done there. I feel like we finally cracked Gina. She's opened up to us at last. And now I have her representation papers. No one no else knows to... Just what a responsibility that is. Anyway, for now, it means Inspector Gregson can't stop us from investigating at Wyndham Banks. Oh, I didn't even attempt to do that, so sure. <laughs> sure, let's go with that. Although, something tells me he's not going to be very happy about it. To be contundered. To be contundered. Contundered on. It's 10.30. It's 10.30. 30 on the nose. Oh, that timing was perfect. Neat. Well, here we are again at the scene of the crime. Now it's a trustee's representation. <laughs> Not the trustee's representation papers in Gregson's face and see what he makes of them. Dear God. Hello again, Inspector. Do you have a minute, please? What is it now? You should go home and get some rest. Here you are, Gregzy. Here are the representation papers. Oh, ladies, hip. <gasps> I don't believe it. How the devil did you get that stubborn little ragabash to sign that? I salute you. That is good work, that is. I can see you've been very busy here as well. How about some tea? It's a special blend designed to relieve fatigue. Oh my god, I always enter fucking tea. Greg's <laughs> <laughs> got the bottom oh. for some chips. Uh, I always at the bottom of tea. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see now. Yeah, yes. I hardly feel tired at all, I say as I yawn. I'm fit as a fiddle, your ladyship. Would it be alright if you investigated the scene of the crime, then? Do as you please. You know what happened. Who that door behind the counter? Yes, the storeroom. That's where I discovered Mr. Windebank and Gina. Wait, 
Well, I'll be getting back to business then. Will you invest be investigating the storm as well, Mr. Inspector? Perfectly honest. We need to wrap this up before long. Can't, can't afford to spend too much time on it. But there are so many articles to go through. It's taking forever. Even with the lads working around the clock. Because there is another case the yard needs to investigate urgently. That must be my Lord Strongheart meant by far more serious matters before. So what I'm saying is, don't get under my feet, Sunshine. Fair enough. Come on, then. Let us not waste any time. Oh wait, I can just. Storm, here we come. Behind that door is the storeroom, isn't it? That's what Gregzy said. Yes, and that's where I saw that dreadful scene last night. Through the little window in the door. Mr. Winterbag face down on the floor with Gina beside him. I see a Keith's legal representative. You have the right to examine the scene, Mr. Naruto. We must make a thorough investigation. Yes, of course, and we will. Behind that door, that's, that's the real scene of the crime. <laughs> so cute! Don't worry. If there are any clues in there, I'll find them. Oh, Iris, baby. Oh, I guess I have to actually go into the store. Oh, of course. Oh, this is a pretty shitty place. I'm kidding. <laughs> it's really nice, actually. Not bad, actually. For a storeroom? Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh, poor Iris. She's cl clammed up completely. Iris is bound to find this difficult. After all, Mr. Winnebeck's life was taken in this very room only last night. Oh. Wait, wait, Inspector! You want to take over the Inspector, Kyle, since you haven't really done a lot of voices? I mean, I could. Okay, yeah. go ahead. He's yours. Was it now, Sunshine? You took one look at me and tried to run away! You don't think a Scotland Yard inspector would run away from some chopped up little defense lawyer, do ya? Yes. so. I just. well. I've never seen a lady ship looking like that before, is the thing. She's been moping around all day, Gregson. I didn't know what to say to her. So you weren't running away from me. You were running away from the ten-year-old. <laughs> That's even worse. God damn That's it, That's even worse. God damn it, Gregson. I know. I'm afraid this is all a little much for young Iris. Gentle reassurance might go a long way, perhaps, Inspector. Eh? Oh no. Dear God. Uh, this is not gonna be. No. I am already cringing. <laughs> I think we all are. Uh, here it comes! I'm bracing Kyle. myself. Kyle, good luck. Here you go. It's all yours. Uh, pray for me. I will. Ahem. Ahem. Don't, um, don't trouble yourself unduly, your ladyship. 
I mean, at least you're not dead, are you? <laughs> That went very well. Okay, I mean, I'd appreciate if someone told me that, but I'm also just messed up as a person. I mean, just be I... like, hey, at least you're not dead. Be like, yeah, you're right. Damn. Uh... Damn, you're right. I'm, I'm not oh. dead. Wow. Thank you, Captain Obvious. <laughs> anyway. I don't think that went very well. Look, I'm in the middle of an investigation here, Sunshine, and I told you not to get under my feet. Because we have investigating to do ourselves. Well, what was that? That was Cammy. Oh, it's my necklace sliding on my desk. It fell. Oh, oh, I was like, what enough. is that sound? Why is my mic going off? <laughs> yes. I'd like to hear more of what that socially enough inspector has to say. Early. And inquire how Mr. Slums' operation is going. So, Inspector, what do you make of the crime scene here? Shut up. You've got eyes, haven't you? Use them. It is what it looks like. Nothing more, nothing less. Iris, can you lend me a hand? Oh, Gracie! What do you make of the crime scene here? Oh wow, her mood just suddenly changed all of a sudden. And the customer service voice, man! <laughs> <laughs> God. Right? You just flip that on and you're just a different human being. Yeah, mood. Uh. Oh yes, your ladyship. Do allow me to humbly explain. Last night, and shortly after the hour of one o'clock in the morning, Scotland Yard police attended the scene. He's really just telling her. This is rude. Right. <laughs> the one and only door to the store was found locked from the inside. So, it was locked up from the inside. The lock appears to be broken now, though. Was that the police officers doing? <laughs> quite right, ma'am. Quite right. <laughs> Take the liberty of smashing the door, then. As humbly as possible. Uh, oh. we still in that mood. As you can see, the victim was discovered prostrate in the floor, um, Thus wise. And next to the aforementioned body, we discovered the vile butter child. Are you talking about Ginny? She's my friend, you know, Inspector! <laughs> Miss the Straw, the hapless girl, is curled up on the floor, dead to the world. She's still alive, just... you know. Yes, when <laughs> I saw her, she appeared to be unconscious. <laughs> yeah, let's just let's just let's just call her dead. Okay, sure, sure. Let's just go with I mean, that. Dead to the world. Sure. Okay. I mean, being unconscious, you are technically dead to the world. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. So it's it it's, is it's correct. A, it's, a, it's a valid turn of phrase. Yeah. Like she like it's not saying she's dead, but it's 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 saying that you know she wasn't aware of what was going on around her because she was unconscious. And as someone that has passed out before, you don't know what the frick happened. <laughs> I have never passed out. <laughs> oh, it's absolutely terrifying. 
That's not a flex, but I'm flexing it. <laughs> it's not a flex, but it's also like... I'm glad you've never had to experience that before, because it sucks. Fair enough. Yes, when I saw her, she appeared to be unconscious. And I'm afraid to say, she had a gun that was easy to hand. No! Presumably, it's the gun that's still down there on the floor now. In her pocket, we found the key to the door as well. What? The key to the storeroom? And you say the storeroom has been locked from the inside, Inspector? Correct. All of which leaves her ladyship's friend. It's something of a sticky situation, I'm afraid. Hmm. Obviously! <laughs> My personal opinion is that it's all some sort of misunderstanding. Of course it is, Inspector. Of course <laughs> it is. Megzi, hey, do you know anything about Hurley? Is the operation finished? Is Hurley alright? Is he... Oh. Prep is clean. Um, well, uh, the thing is, um... Don't mince your- don't mince your words, Inspector. Please? You- you don't mean to say that Mr. Sholmes is... is... <laughs> no, no, no! <laughs> the operation's done and dusted! Oh, sorry! <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Those two. Just that, well... God, there's oh. something soon. Oh shit. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no! <laughs> wow. Out of the room. <laughs> She's auto take down. <laughs> She's auto take down the police. It's good. Goddamn that you say. They have something called a general anesthetic. It's the lightest thing. Or does the whole body insensitive? The whole body and uh, 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 is that even possible? It means the operation can be completed while the patient is fast asleep. Goodness, in the Empire of Japan, we can just manage to provide laughing gas for a tooth extraction. Trouble is. The lightest thing isn't always the greatest thing, if you follow my meaning. I couldn't get the medication to work at first, so it took hours for him to nod off, so I hear. And now that the op's finished, they... I can't get him to wake up, apparently. Holmes is enjoying his sleep for the first time in his life. <laughs> Actually getting sleep for the first time in his life. <laughs> Like actually knowing how shit the first he probably would Yeah. See, even Gregson says it. Yeah. No, now it's just the anesthetic state of the system. I the flex just played exhausted. He probably played exhausted. Probably. But anyway, all they can do is stand back and watch until he comes around again. Oh, I miss. Early! The moment he opens his eyes, your ladyship, I swear I shall get word to you. What a surprise! Even in the matters of life and death, Mr. Sholmes has to has to do things his way. <laughs> All right. Well, might as well examine the crime scene since we're here. Let's poke the gun. The, 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 this is a revolver, a real one. Quite, quite possibly the murder weapon. 
Just to take Mr. Winbeck's life. What's the matter, Susie? Y you and Bruno look like you're about to faint. Well, it's just that I've rarely seen a gun in the flesh. And I've had issues with the gun with guns in the past. But anyway, we saw Mr. Winder back with us yesterday, didn't we? I shall have to take my own life! Sorry, I just had to say that again. It must be the same gun. And last night, when I looked through the spy hole in the door to the storeroom here, that was the same gun I saw in Gina's hand. Mr. Winnebank told us that he only had a single bullet loaded in his revolver, didn't he? Well, it's empty now. The one and only bullet he had in it has been fired. So, can we, be f so we can be fairly certain that only a single shot was fired from this revolver. The police have marked the position of the body with a chalk line. Poor Mr. Windenbank, he was such a nice old man. Oh, that's a brutal mm -hmm. wound. Well, yeah. he was shot once through the heart. Most likely, the fellow died instantly. He wouldn't have felt a thing. Oh, poor man. Oh, poor chap. She's so cute. Aha! Uh -huh. I may well be able to help with that. What? There's nothing like the sight of blood to get the blood pumping, is there, Runo? Uh, I have a feeling I'm not as bloody minded as the Irish. <laughs> God, I love Irish so much. I'm afraid the sight of blood makes my blood run cold. Uh, you might need to get that check, Suzaki son. There you have it. You see? When someone, when it comes to blood, we're all different types. Yeah, it's <laughs> a pun. Yes, what a scientific observation. Right there. Uh, uh. <laughs> My god. So you need this! Oh no, what is that scary looking thing? A fucking gun? Charlie and I actually haven't come up with a name for it yet. But as soon as you see it in action, you'll understand what it does. Watch. Ah! Oh, this is luminol. Oh, oh, the color of the blood stain has changed. There, does it make sense now? Yes, I think I'm starting to understand. Good, it works on the principle that different people have different types of blood, you see? How wonderful! Chemical fires combined with the blood, it makes it change color. So you can identify whose blood it is at, that you're looking at in a flash. Well, what a fabulous invention, Iris! Ladies and gentlemen, we now have the early basics of DNA sampling. Yay! <laughs> Isn't it? Isn't it? I bet Ginny would say it's bleeding great. So, whose blood are we looking at then? This must be Mr. Windenbank's blood. Yes, yeah, this is where he was shot, so there can't be any question of that. This could turn out to be a very valuable clue. So we simply must make a note of it. Let's keep testing and adding the results of any other blood analysis to the portfolio. As long as I have Regan left, I'm sure. Oh, okay, so... 
Oh. Iris? Don't worry, I'm alright. But we must find the true culprit. Yes, absolutely. Okay, well, that was something of importance. Out of all the articles in the storeroom, this is the only thing that shows any signs of being ransacked. Uh. W what is it, Iris? That's not, that sounds like a really calm ah. <laughs> what well, did. That's. That's the box file that my manuscript was being kept in. Oh! Iris's unpublished story, The Hound of the Basket Girls. Surely that's not with all this. I must check inside the box at once. Yes. Uh, are you guys checking or are you just staring at the box? Daddy, uh, same thing, really. Guys? Guys? It was there. Iris's story was there. Really? It was? Well, that's good news, isn't that, Iris? Um, yes. I mean, of course, I believed Hurley when he said he'd deposited here, but still. It's a relief to actually see it. Really? Because that's not a very well hidden crown. Damn it! If there ever was a time to have s s partial powers of Danganronpa to actually find out which things I can actually investigate. <laughs> right. I know, right? Uh... Look at all these articles that have been deposited. The room is stuffed full of them. Look at all those chickens. <laughs> Look at all those chickens. I can't believe how many there are. Musical, a gramophone, musical instruments, even some Menorah's paintings. Look! Pieces of different people's lives, quietly gathering dust here together. There's something very peaceful about the atmosphere in here. Or at least, there would be, if not for the talk outline on the floor, the policeman's shuffling around. Angels and drinks. Fish and chips. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough, detective. Fair enough. Uh, oh, okay. I think that's it. I think that's all I can investigate in here. Y yeah, yeah. No, that's all I can actually press. Uh, okay. Oh, we might as well take a look at the court record then. So, yeah. Book samples, manuscripts. Okay, so nothing has actually changed since then. Go back to the main shop and see if we can find something. There's the article ledger here in Mr. Winterbank's notes and... Hmm? What's this? It looks like as though someone has left a little photographic print behind. On the back, there's some writing. There, ooh, show us, Susie, show us. Fifteenth February, ten thirty p.m. Article deposited one gentleman's overcoat. Loan amount paid one pound. Redemption deadline, fifteenth of April, ten thirty p.m. A gentleman's overcoat pawn for a pound. Good, it was a very fine coat. In fact, I think. Yes, this must be the ticket. Oh, sorry, that's you. I was like, yes. uh, 
This must be the ticket for the overcoat that Ginny redeemed yesterday. It's, it's still worried. Rich Ginny needs to miss in the gilded. I never expected to find a redemption ticket to be handwritten on the back of a photograph, though. It seems Mr. Windenbank just used whatever piece of paper he happened to have on hand. But this photograph of a cat it looks very familiar, doesn't it? I'm sure I've seen this exact picture somewhere recently. Oh, yes, you're right. Very recently. It's the same that one... It's the same as the one Ginny gave us earlier. Of course! I was forgetting she gave us that thing. Well, what are you waiting for then, Mr. Norhoto? Get it out! Alright, alright, let the cogs turn. <gasps> oh, I just realized what happened to what's coming next. Yes! <laughs> they're <laughs> exactly the same. Uh, slight alterations, but uh, close enough. I got it! These two photographs hide an amazing secret! A secret? What does she mean? You must tell us, Iris. At once! <laughs> Do you really, really, really want to know? Yes, we really need you to tell us all you know about this pair of photographs! Um, Iris? What do you got, girl? Sir, it's about these two photographic prints. The one we found here in Mr. Windenbag's counter and the one Gina gave us before. What's this amazing secret you mentioned that's hidden between these two identical prints? Actually, that's not quite right. Sorry? If you look carefully, the two prints aren't the same. Not exactly. They're not? Have another look at them now. Yeah, there is a slight difference between the two of them. Can you see yeah. that they're just slightly different from each other? I I think so. It's very subtle though. That's it's the, like, the, the cat, first thing isn't it? Yeah. Okay, good. So I'm not just dumb. No, no. I caught that. Th that was like the first thing I noticed when I looked at that new photo. That when I saw the two compared. I was like, the cat isn't quite right. So, what's this? Uh, what's the reason for the subtle difference between these two prints? Well, it's because they're a set, you see? No, I don't. This pair of photographs. It's meant to be used in a stereoscope. Everyone in London is raving about them at the moment. Ah, a stereoscope. Why do I feel as though I heard that word before recently? Oh, yes, that's what Mr. Sh Mr. Sloan showed us yesterday. You see, there it is, just over there. Ah, yes, of course. That magical machine that makes pictures almost look real enough to touch. <laughs> well, actually... It's quite possible to see the, the same depth as in pictures, even without one of those contraptions. What? Really? You know how a pair of flat photographic prints can appear to have any depth in the first place? No, I have no idea. Oh, wonderful! Then I'll be able to tell you! She's oh, over the God. moon. Oh, bless her. Should we let her explain, though? We really need to carry on carry on investigating the scene. I simply have to know. Alright, well... Let's try it. Let's see if you can view this pair of prints without the help of a stereo soap. Oh, yes, I'm dying to have a go. Zazasan really loves this kind of thing. It's 
be able to cross your eyes. That's the main thing. Can you both do that? Cross my eyes? I, I think I can. Watch me and see if you can copy. <laughs> Queen. Make your eyes do this. Sorry, give me a second. Sniffing tool. <laughs> Screen cap. Andrew, learn advice. But keep Sa that save as Iris cross-eyed. Gonna keep this open a second. Just keep going. <laughs> All right, let me try. Are you ready, Mr. Norhoda? <laughs> How's that? Oh my Screen gosh. cap! Save oh, us! Suzato! Cross You need to send? Okay, Andrew, Don't you worry. need to send? I will, I will send, send those send to you. These? To me and yes. Cammy, so me and Cammy can have the cross-eyed queens as our profile picture. <laughs> cross-eyed queens. Uh, anyway. please, say it's, please say it's gonna show Rhinoscape, please. I really want to get that! I really want to replace my current image! Okay, anyway. Uh, oh, now it's your turn, Runo! to concentrate on looking at the bridge of your nose with both eyes at the same time. Not exactly an easy task when two people are staring at you cross-eyed. Alright, that's enough. Aww. Damn it, so I wanted to see myself cross-eyed. Oh, well. I wanted to see Ryan Oske cross-eyed. That would have been hilarious. Considering he has such big eyes, like, uh, whenever he's nervous, he just like, oh puffs his eyes out, and it's the funniest thing ever. A man can dream. <laughs> dream. Yeah, Alright, that's enough practice. Now let's try looking at the prints. This is you, Iris. Yeah, I know. Start by staring at one print and slowly crossing your eyes. Oh, that's trippy. You should see two over overlapping images like this. You try it now, Runo. I'm just going to have to give it a try, I suppose. Did the print split in two images for you? Now, the next step. I have bad depth perception, so... Same. Is to put the pair of prints side by side like this, and then try crossing your eyes again. <laughs> oh, my eyes! I can't- okay, I'm gonna stop trying to do that. The print should slowly merge until... Thank you, game. They form a new single image in the center. Oh, yes! Mr. Naruto, it works. I can see it. <laughs> In the middle now. It looks so I real. Look all day. Oh, I can look at it all day. Every time, every time I hear that, like all day, I think of um, the voice actor for Mirio. His name is Rico Fajardo, and he was telling about how he had a blooper as Mirio, and it was him poking his head through the wall as Mirio and being like, "I could look at you all day." <laughs> <laughs> God, that man is chaos. Insane. Rico Fajardo is absolutely hilarious. I love him. I'm gonna send that to you. <laughs> Too bad we don't uh, have Discord overlay on. But <laughs> oh, no wonder. I'm like, hold on a second. Uh, I'm not friends with Cammy on Discord. What the hell? Wow. Oh, wow, anyway. that's hilarious. Here, wait. I wouldn't advise that. Your eyes might start to hurt. 
Your turn, Runo. Pretend you're looking through the two pictures and slowly cross your eyes. Keep adjusting the position of your eyes until the two images overlap exactly in the middle. Like this, is it? There you go, guys. <laughs> there, you managed it. So now you know how the stereotype Im stereoscopic images work. I can't well, read. I don't yeah, know. Well, it's also 11 o'clock, so. Well, yeah. I don't know who discovered it, but it really is quite extraordinary. Hold on, I'm just going to send one more. There, so you Was can that use that. You could use that would make this an amazing game joke, but unfortunately, it's a spoiler. <laughs> okay, well, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to stop there. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, almost got it. Let me change my profile picture. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. Yay. It's been Almost fun. got it. Almost I'm, got it. I'm waiting for Recky to change. Hold on. From Recky. I got hold it. On. <laughs> <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I need. I just need why to. Why is this hilarious and why does this work? Well, like, why is this funny? Thanks for watching. Here's here's a picture of Iris looking cross-eyed to end your stream today. Because it's hilarious. Thanks for watching. See you later. <laughs> that, 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 that's all, folks. <laughs> <laughs>